tell you, the universe is a strange and wonderful place, especially when we zoom in to the smallest scales imaginable. In this subatomic realm, the familiar laws of physics give way to the mind-boggling principles of quantum mechanics. Here, particles can exist in multiple states at once, and energy comes in discrete packets called quanta. It's a world where our everyday intuition breaks down, replaced by a set of rules that govern the behavior of the very building blocks of matter. One of the key insights of quantum mechanics is that particles can also behave like waves, blurring the lines between these two fundamental concepts. Imagine a tiny subatomic marble rippling outward like a wave in a pond. That's the essence of wave particle duality. This duality leads to some truly bizarre phenomena such as quantum tunneling where particles can pass through seemingly impenetrable barriers. In the quantum world uncertainty reigns supreme. We can never know both the position and momentum of a particle with perfect accuracy. This inherent uncertainty is not due to limitations in our measurement tools, but is a fundamental property of the quantum world. Imagine trying to pinpoint the exact location and speed of a buzzing hummingbird. The very act of observing it changes its behavior. This is the strange and wonderful world of quantum mechanics, a realm where the laws of physics take on a whole new meaning. It's a world that continues to challenge our understanding of the universe and holds the key to unlocking some of its deepest secrets. Okay. Now let's add another layer of complexity to this quantum landscape. Imagine that these subatomic particles, already governed by the bizarre rules of quantum mechanics, also possess a hidden characteristic, a property we'll call color charge. Don't be fooled by the name. This has nothing to do with the colors we see in the everyday world. In the realm of particle physics, color charge is a fundamental property of quarks, the tiny particles that make up protons and neutrons, which in turn form the nucle nucleus of, of an atom. Just as electric charge governs how particles interact through the electromagnetic force, color charge dictates the interactions of quarks through the strong force. While electric charge comes in two varieties, huh? positive and negative. Color charge is a bit more exotic, coming in three types, red, green, and blue. And just as opposite, electric charges attract, different color charges also attract each other. But there's a catch. Unlike electric charges, which can exist in isolation, color charges always combine to form neutral states. Think of it like mixing paint. Red, green, and blue light combine to create white light, which we perceive as colorless. Similarly, quarks combine in specific ways to create particles with a neutral color charge. This peculiar property of color charge is at the heart of quantum chromodynamics, or QCD, the theory that describes the strong force, one of the four fundamental forces of nature. It's a theory as beautiful as it is complex, and it holds the key to understanding the very fabric of matter. To delve deeper into the world of QCD, we need to meet its main characters, quarks and gluons. Quarks, as we've learned, are the fundamental building blocks of matter, and they come in six different flavors, up, down, charm, strange, top, and bottom. Each quark flavor also also carries one or one of the one of the three color three color charges. Gluons, on the other hand, are the force carriers of the strong force. Just as photons mediate the electromagnetic force between electrically charged particles, gluons mediate the strong force between color charged quarks. Imagine gluons as tiny messengers, constantly zipping back and forth between quarks, holding them together within the nucleus of an atom. But here's where things get really interesting. Gluons themselves also carry color charge. 
This means that gluons not only mediate the strong force, but they also interact with each other. This self-interaction of gluons is a unique feature of the strong force and leads to some of the most fascinating and challenging aspects of QCD.